Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Ander, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iOS 4.2.1 device. That will be your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, your 3rd and 4th generation iPod Touch, and your iPad. First things first, make sure your iOS device is at 4.2.1. Obviously, this is the latest iOS release to this day, so just make sure you're up to that release. Um, if you are preserving your baseband for unlock use on your iPhone 4, download Tiny Umbrella at the firmwareumbrella.blogspot.com. There's a quick guide I'll put in the description to show you guys how to upgrade to 4.2.1 um, by preserving your baseband. So it won't update to the 4.2.1 baseband, which is the modem firmware that um, doesn't cause the latest Ultra Snow exploit to work. So run through that first, and then once you're on 4.2.1, you're going to want to download Green Poison. So pretty simple. You go to greenpoison.com, and that's poison with, an o, with the O being a zero, the second O, and you go ahead and download the Mac release. Once you do that, you're going to want to open Green Poison RC5. You'll have to unzip it and then run it on your Mac. Um, <clears throat> The Chronic Dev team hasn't really released a Windows or Linux version yet. Those are coming up soon. Go ahead and check the Twitter accounts at twitter.com slash pot2g. He's actually the guy behind um, the exploits for the 4.2.1 Untether jailbreak. So uh, what you're going to want, want to do next is, of course, plug in your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. Make sure it's running 4.2.1 and make sure it's on the home screen like so. Um, next thing you want to do is once you do that is just click the jailbreak button and when it says press and hold the sleeve button you're gonna go ahead and do so you're gonna press and hold the sleeve button then you're gonna go ahead and press the home button when it asks you to do so the screen will go off halfway and then once it says to release the sleeve button you release the button on the top so you press you keep holding the home button once you do that Keep pressing the home button until you see text roll down on your screen. Um, there's been an issue where some people see a few a bit of text on the screen, but they um, it freezes on for like a few seconds, right around there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it clearly, but release the home button once there's actually text running down the screen. That's when the exploit's actually running. And um, once it reads complete, you just let go. The whole green poison exploit is already occurring on the device, so. Press complete and Green Poison closes on your Mac. But the exploit has already been uploaded to the iPhone or the iPod or the iPad. I'm just going to say iOS device from now on. There's just so many, it's pretty stupid. But um, let's see. Green Poison initialized. It'll run the exploit like so. And once it's complete, um, the Green Poison app is supposed to install a loader app on your, on your home screen in the springboard. The problem with that is that the loader app doesn't actually run. You actually need to do one extra step to install Cydia. At this point, you go ahead and run Red Snow. Go to blog.iphonedev.org, not slash Red Snow, just the homepage of the Dev Team blog. Scroll down and install the latest um, Red Snow update for OS X. Um, the Windows version, since there is no green poison for Windows yet, probably by the time it gets released, I'll put an update in the description. You can go ahead and install the Windows version. Anyways, you get that Red Snow version, launch Red Snow. You're going to need the IPSW file of the 4.2.1 update, but of course, if you did it with iTunes, you'll find it right in your iTunes folder, like so. It'll go ahead and process the firmware. And from there, um, all you're gonna do is install the city option. Um, this is um, one of the releases where you get to actually boot tethered and all that stuff. Well, you don't need to do that anymore once you run the Red um, the untethered jailbreak from Green Poison. So once that's done, you're going to want to wait for Red Snow to process the firmware a bit. It's taking quite a while on my Mac. But um, from there, just let it load, identified, let it, let, the dev let it download the jailbreak data from the dev team servers. And you're just going to install Cydia, go into DFU mode again, just let it install the Cydia bundle. Um, you already have the untethered exploit loaded on your phone, so it will tell you to install tethered when you're done. 
you don't have to do that. You can just go ahead and just let the phone load. It'll it'll be properly open the city app and you're good to go. But um, this one's taking a bit of a while for me. But I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. Um, actually, I already do have um, my phone jailbroken, so I'm just go ahead. I'm just doing the little run for you. My my Mac has been having some hard drive issues lately, which is why it's been kind of lame. But yeah. <laughs> I need to see what's up with my OS 10 installation. Anyways, I hope the video isn't actually freezing because I'm actually screen recording and I just destroyed, I believe, five or six minutes of my time because of my stupid solid state drives. It's actually having issues. So, all right. That's it, guys. You should see the Apple logo actually turn into a green poison logo, which you see like a little skeleton on the Apple logo, which is pretty cool. Um, let it boot, and that's about it. Your until your jailbreak is complete, you can run Cydia. You can install the upgrades, install your mobile substrate add-ons, do everything you can do with a jailbreak, and without worrying to have to reboot the phone and having to plug it into Red Snow every time. So um, I'm really glad the until their jailbreak has been released, and that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.